debugging. So we've already really seen this, so I'm not actually going to do any demos if we need to get into debugging. You've already seen that you can set a breakpoint in the code. You can say start debugging, and then you can go and make a call through Postman or through the website, and it will break in the code if you wish. All I'm going to do here is call out the basic functionality of the debugger. If you're not familiar with working in Visual Studio, basically breakpoints are set either visually, as you saw me click in the margin, or you can use F9 to set a breakpoint wherever your cursor happens to be. And then basically you press F5 to start debugging or hit the little green triangle in the toolbar and things start off. You're going to see the web browser. You could minimize that and go to Postman and start running your tests. And it will break whenever you hit one of those breakpoints basic operations of debugging in Visual Studio. If you're not familiar with debugging generally in Visual Studio, Jeff's got a whole session on this. Um, but basically, F10 is step over, F11 is step into, Shift F11 is step out. So there's your basic functionality. You can hover over variables to see values. There's a window at the bottom. Well, let me show you the locals window because it is useful. So let's just set a breakpoint. Let's put it in the put method here. So you can set a breakpoint either with F9 or you can just click here and set them and, and reset them and so on. Let's start debugging. So I'm going to press F5, or you can say debug, start debugging, or you can press the little green arrow up here. So we'll start debugging. There's our API. I'm just going to leave that minimized. So it's still running in debug, but I'm not going to talk to it through Chrome. I want to talk to it through Postman. So I'm going to go over to Postman, and let's do our get all people just to get our data up and running. There's our data. So let's call our create person. That should create person three. There it is. And then we call our update method. And when we hit send, now we're in Visual Studio debugging the code. So as, as I mentioned, you can use F10 for step over, F11 step in, Shift F11 step out. You've also got the equivalent buttons up here on the toolbar, so step over, step out, step into. Continue, if you want to just continue debugging, you just press F5 or the continue button. You can hover over variables, for example. So existing person is currently null, people is currently a collection of three. We can drill down into them and see the values and so on. So we can hover over things to look at the values. The ID is three. You've also got the locals window, which is a majorly used window in the debug environment, which is basically showing you all the local variables and data structures, and you can drill into collections and look at values and so on. That's the basics of using debugging. Probably not going to be using it too much more in the remainder of the day, but it's just important that you know that you totally can debug this whole environment very effectively. And if we just hit continue, then our, you know, our postman test completes in the normal way.